Hey, what's up everybody? This is How To Tech, and today I just got this iPhone 6S, and I thought, well, you know, I have it, I'm going to use it. Oh, what the hell, I'll tear it down. So we're going to use a couple tools here, a small pentalope screwdriver, a double or triple O Phillips, a couple of prying tools, a nylon spudger is always handy, a couple guitar picks, and a suction cup. Uh, this is a pretty big necessity on this particular phone as they've made uh, some new changes on it, put some adhesive around it, and we'll talk about that in just a few seconds. First thing you want to do is go ahead and power the phone off. And then we're going to go ahead and remove these two pentalope screws down at the bottom of the phone. With both of the screws removed, the next step is to go ahead and work to remove the display. So we'll use a suction cup. Now you want to get a nice firm suction, so I'm using one of these tile suction cups, and they put adhesive all the way around the edge, so you got to pull back pretty tough, and then kind of slide your tool in back and forth, and you want to be pretty gentle, I mean, you don't want to uh, pull up too hard, you could crack your display, so really what I'm doing is lifting up just a tiny bit to separate the adhesive, and you can use guitar picks for this as well, but this nylon spudger is definitely the best tool to use. If you want something that's a little bit solid, doesn't have a ton of flex in it, these guitar picks have a little too much flex for this particular uh, repair. But we'll use them, uh, they're a little bit more uh, around the house than you would have a nylon spudger for sure. So let's just see if we can't use these for a second and get this thing open. So as you uh, move your tools around the sides of the screen, you might feel a little resistance. You want to try to just make sure you put the, the pick underneath the screen. Uh, you don't want to go too far in because there's some metal... Uh, clips that hold the screen in. So really the goal is is that you're just trying to get just barely the corners of the sides of the screen. There's a little more adhesive uh, on the corners of the phone than there is on the sides. So now that we got it started we can go ahead and remove our suction cup. And just continue to work our way around. So it's just a little bit more work than it used to be to get this screen off. Once you get it open it's pretty much the same things we've seen on other phones. Get hit to pry here. I'll work our way down the side. So I'm just taking my time. I could have done this a lot faster, but I didn't want to damage the screen. And I'm guessing that you don't want to either. Perfect. So you can see I'm prying up down the side. Work on this other side. Let's work our way down. There's a pretty good amount of adhesive here at the top as well. So if you can put some positive pressure down here at the bottom, uh, that'll help you pry the rest of the screen up down the side. Once you get an opening enough to fit the tool in, it's pretty easy. We're just going to wiggle it back and forth. See if we can't get the adhesive to loosen up here at the top of the phone. And remember, it slides in. There's a kind of a little uh, holder here at the top. So you want to pull it towards the bottom first a little bit. Not a lot. <clears throat> and then pull down. Once that starts to happen, you can go ahead and open the screen up. We'll wiggle it a little bit more to get this adhesive to loosen. All right, now the next step is to remove these four screws right here on this metal plate where my left index finger is at. So we're going to remove anything that's attached to this little square metal bracket right here. So you want to make sure that the screws you take out of the phone, uh, you keep in order so you know exactly the place they came out of. These four screws are not the same size, so you want to make sure that you take that in note. The one I just took out in the upper right-hand corner of the phone is longer than all the rest, so just keep that in mind as you're placing these screws down. So here's our third screw next to the battery, and then we're going to do the one right above the battery. Now with that screw out, we can go ahead and just pull the metal plate up with our nylon spudger. And set the plate aside. Now there's three connectors we need to pop up. Now these connectors do have a tiny bit of adhesive on them as well, which is a little bit different. So there's one right here on the side. We're going to use our spudger to pull up. One right here on the front. There's one underneath that cable right here you can see. We're going to pop this last one up. With that done, you can go ahead and remove this screen. There's probably still a little bit of adhesive at the top portion. 
So we're just going to wiggle it free. And don't worry if a little bit of the adhesive gets uh, pulled off. Uh, we'll end up uh, not having to use it in the repair. So now working with the top of the screen, we're going to remove the three screws off the metal bracket that's holding in the earpiece speaker, front-facing camera, proximity sensor, microphone assembly. So all three of these screws will come out. And then we can peel back the metal housing. It's got a little tiny bit of adhesive on it. It's holding into uh, the little touch IC uh, chip here. So we're just going to pull it back. So looking at the cable, it's a little bit different than the last cable. So we're going to go ahead and take it and pull up and out a little bit. We can get our earpiece speaker out. And that'll leave the front facing camera. There's a little tiny bit of adhesive that's holding in uh, the front proximity sensor and the mic. You may have to use a small tool to get into there. You could use a pair of tweezers. Uh, I like this dental pick. Uh, you could use a nylon spudger as well. Just being gentle with it as you peel it out. Perfect. Now with that removed, we can go ahead and set that aside. And it turns out that you can actually just pull this little uh, earpiece speaker housing off. I'm just trying to double check and make sure it's not attached here by anything. So I'm just slowly releasing the adhesive around it. And you can just go ahead and pull it off. Now with that done, we can go ahead and remove the rear metal housing on the back of the backlight. Uh, we could also look and see if we can remove uh, the home button here as well. I want to see if I can pull this off without taking that metal backplate off first. Uh, so that way in the future, we don't have to do all of this removing to get this thing off. Let's just check this out real quick. So there's three screws down here. One that's going in from the metal backplate into the home button bracket. We'll take out that screw, the one right below it. And there's one to the left side of the bracket that will need to come out as well. Now we're just going to see if we can't pull this down and out. Yeah, it looks like it'll pop right out for us. Perfect. So no need to disassemble the entire phone, just change the home button. Makes it a little bit easier. All right, so let's go ahead and take this back metal bracket off. So there's one screw that's sideways up here at the top of the metal bracket. And then we're going to have three screws on either side. Now these can be a little tricky to get out. I like to put my thumb kind of behind uh, the wing that it's in to push back on. And that way you don't strip out the screw or bend the bracket when you're trying to take these screws out. They are in there pretty snug. Work our way down the opposite side. This one is uh, really stuck in there. Well, let's take this bottom one off first. Once I get stripped out a little bit, I'm going to end up trying to use a slightly larger bit here and get this one out. It's a trick you can do that doesn't want to pop out. Yep, does not want to come out. All right, let's try that again. A little more force. There we go. Perfect. Now, those three uh, screws out of each side. We're going to go ahead and remove the metal bracket. To do that, you'll just need to peel back the adhesive tape. And we can just use a spudger to kind of push that up a little bit. I'll end up using a pair of tweezers here uh, to pull it back without damaging it at all. Alright, let's pull back. Let's do the opposite side of the phone here.
All right, now with both of the pieces of adhesive removed, we can just go ahead and pull the back plate off. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the home button, and to do that, we're going to pull up the ribbon cable and disconnect it from the cable that runs underneath this back of the screen here. It looks like the force touch board um, is still adhered. So probably what's going to happen is you'll get the new screen uh, without the home button. Remember, the only home button that'll work is the one that came with your screen. So make sure you use that one again. And if you need to, you transfer the little pieces of plastic up here at the top, the front-facing camera and the proximity sensor. If you do need to remove those, you can just use a pair of tweezers and pull them up. And that's it. That's the screen removal of the iPhone 6S. If you found that video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe for future uh, repairs. I'll be doing a couple a month. And as always, I appreciate you watching and hope to catch you on the next one.